Well, the San Bernardino County mountains are seeing its first blizzard in decades. These icy conditions have now led to multiple highway closures. Eyewitness News reporter Shayla Gerard in live in Lake Arrowhead this morning where the snow is coming down hard. Good morning, Shayla. Irene, you said it. That snow, it just keeps falling. We had a little bit of rain this morning, but it quickly turned to snow and it has been going nonstop. We've got a snow plow behind me up here. He has been working all morning long. It looks like they're just stopping for a moment to fuel up and look, you can tell <laughs> just how much they've been working over here on the my right hand side. You can see two massive piles of snow and that's just from this parking lot. They've been working to clear these roadways and what's so dangerous about the roadways, why they're shutting down all these highways as even with those snow plows moving moving through here, working to clear the roads. You can see all of this that I'm standing on is still covered in that blanket of white. That is because this snow just keeps falling down. And with that little bit of rain we saw earlier this morning, underneath me, underneath all this white is a layer of ice. So really an ice skating ring for any cars that are hitting the road again. Like we mentioned, closing all major highways uh, into the area. You can see over here, it really is a winter wonderland. We've got a little bit of cleared roadways right there, more piles of snow. It's even hard to make out some of those trees in the distance just because visibility also really low due to that snow and a little bit of fog up here on my right hand side. This is really the story of the morning. Everyone is feeling this car after car completely covered by that snowfall. You can't even tell, but there's actually a stop sign right here on my left hand side. The snow completely blocking it. So what it means for these travelers, they're not going to be going anywhere anytime soon. Some of these cars, you can't even make out the makes or models of the vehicles because they are completely submerged. We've got a couple of them that you can only see the windshield wiper. So again, all of these conditions come together really to just make dangerous conditions on the roadways. They are asking everyone to steer clear. Of course, those snow plows still working to clear the areas, but with all this rain and snow continuing to come down, not making too much of a difference just yet. Uh, with that, I'm going to toss it back to you too. Wow, my, my goodness. goodness. <laughs> I know. I mean, Shayla, we've been watching your hits throughout the entire morning, and there is a stark difference in the snow levels on top of those cars throughout every single live shot that we've seen this morning. So that just goes to show how fast and how heavy the snow is falling this morning. Yeah, do us a favor. Give your give your head a good shake there to get that hood <laughs> yeah. clear of snow, because even during this report, it is building up. Uh, we asked you earlier this morning. We've been on air now for nearly four hours. Uh, the amount of people at your hotel, because you've been there for a couple of days now that are essentially stuck. I mean, are these people that now want to leave and can't? What's the general consensus? I mean, you said it. Everyone here at this point is is stuck. We've talked to some folks that came up here. They knew there was going to be some wet weather. They knew that snow was coming and they said they are here for it. They're here to just uh, hunger down, watch the snow out their window. But there's a lot of other folks that had plans to leave Friday uh, or even today. And as we can all see, uh, that is just not happening. So it's it's a little bit of a mixed bag. A lot of them loving this winter weather and other ones that are eager to hit the road, head back to town. But obviously they know uh, no one is moving today. Everyone hopes hoping to get out tomorrow, but even that still up in the air. And Shayla, we have been uh, hearing from a few mountain spots, restaurants, businesses that it's been tough to get supplies up there. You know, if something goes wrong, they're on their own. They don't have crews that can come help them. Um, have you been hearing any issues from any locals or anyone even just visiting the area in terms of like getting resources or supplies that they uh, really need but can't seem to get their hands on? Absolutely. We were able to just make it down to the village yesterday. Then that snow started to pick up and we haven't been able to move, move much since everyone we've talked to at the hotel restaurants down in the village for the most part did stock up. They've got the provisions they need. The biggest issue has been everything is closed. No one, of course, can, can get into the hotels, can get into the restaurants. There is literally one restaurant that is still open and that was yesterday, so I'm not even sure if they're going to be able to open today. But really, uh, any staff, any servers are only able to make it to their destination if they're staying put, if they're staying at the hotel. So uh, provisions, not as much the issue as it is getting people to and from destinations. It's just not happening. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC 7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC 7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV and Roku to watch on your TV.